Tonight on Wife Swap. Scary. A mum who's desperate to heal her grieving family's life. You know, I can't take them anywhere. I just feel so embarrassed. And a family who've moved from urban sprawl to country life. Xavier, I've asked you to get dressed already. Come on, quickly. It's all about pushing through mental and physical barriers. I actually feel like I accomplished something today. As they swap lives for one week. Do you want to go and join in? No. Can you show me a cartwheel on here? No. The transformation begins tonight. Cheerleading is great, but there's way too much of it going on on your house. Going. On Wife Swap New Zealand. Meet the Davis family. First, Xavier, who's six. Josiah's eight. And here's busy single mum, Simone. I have a pretty busy life, as you can imagine, being solo and stuff. I have to do the mum and dad. This is just the norm, this is the norm. Daily life of my life situation. It is very important that I provide for my children because I'm doing this on my own. Do you want to write your name? Saviour King? Yeah. Oh, since when were you? And I think, wouldn't it be nice just to have that extra little bit of helping hand? Yeah. Are you going to be nice to your new mummy? Um, You're going to no. show her respect? You have to show her respect, eh? My kids are a challenge, but they're worth the challenge. <laughs> Ow. You guys actually need to stop that, eh, guys? There's a new mummy coming, and that she's need to be on your best behaviour. For Simone, looking after Xavier and Josiah is everything to her and helps her push through a recent tragedy. So July 2016, 16, I actually lost my... So pretty much from that time, I've had to deal and go through the grieving process, and it's been bloody hard. It's been bloody hard. I pretty much had to quickly realise that I, I had purpose in life and I had to I, I, I knew I couldn't give up and I had to keep going. because um, I have my other living children which need who need their mama. Something in my head tells me you have to keep going and I know that's my son, you know, telling me you gotta keep going, mama and I really wanted to share is that um when my son was lying on me and, you know, having his last final breaths on me. One thing I promised my son is that mama's got this and that it's okay to go and that I'll be okay here on earth and I'll get better. And I'm so proud of where I am today and I know he would be proud of where I am today because man, I've come, I've come far. I've struggled all my life with my weight. It's been a very up and down, uh, we're happy, we're a happy little family, but I know they would like to see Mummy going out more, doing more with them and stuff, and not just being confined to the space because Mummy's too scared to get out there, you know? Once my confidence builds up, I want to be able to do more with them, take them out more and, you know, just get, get myself out there. For now, Simone's escape comes from blogging to her 7,000 followers. It's actually like a healing place for me. If I want to cry, I'll go in there and cry. You know, if I want to talk about the shitty day I've had, I'll go I've had. I just hope that the children will be accepting of me being in their home, you know, because I like to think I'm a good person and, um, you know, yeah, I just hope that everything goes well, yeah. Up north live the cheerleading Reed family. There's Dad Matt, nine-year-old Luke, Michaela, who's seven, and our mum Cherie. I own a cheerleading gym down in Silverdale. It's called All Star Infinity. We do competitive cheerleading. One, two, three, four, five. To be physical and be involved in something. I have officially not tried any of the cheerleading thing. <laughs> Matt does most of the cooking um, and the meals and stuff because I work in the evenings. The Reeds used to be city dwellers, but have recently moved to greener pastures. Escaping Auckland's been great. It used to be an office environment, now I'm outside. I've probably lost six or seven kg in the last three or four months, just from being able to be outside and active. I wanted to do the, the experiment just because I wanted to do something different, and I know that I live a really um, big lifestyle. I'm just open to kind of seeing what happens and where I end up. It's swap day for our wives, something that's particularly challenging for Simone. 
Kate, you look after Isaiah, his son. Look after him. Kate? Where look. are you going? Mummy's going away for a few days. Yeah. It's just something on him. Okay. What's this? And Simone, why are you taking that? He has been a very big part of my journey since losing him. Yeah, so he comes with me. Because obviously I've never been apart from any of my children and he's very much one of my children. So I just feel like if I have Daddy. something from home, you know, yeah. I'm a little bit nervous about going. I'm not sure if it's going to be, um, you know, like a long drive or not. But um, yeah, it'll be good to get going. Come on, give me a hug. Bye. See you later, Mummy. Bye. Any communication for their week away. Bye. Have fun. And nor have they been told where they're going. Good boy. Mm. I keep thinking to myself, what have I got myself into? Why am I doing this? <laughs> I'm nervous now because it's the reality of it's all kind of kicking in. It's like a long way from home. I'm scared they're not going to like me. <laughs> Positive paper curry. Well then. Scary! OK. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, cute. Oh, I love this house. I want to move on. <laughs> Good to see that there is actually children here. Oh, look, there's another one. A little girl, maybe? They've got two kids, haven't they? Mum and Dad. She must be like a cheerleader. That's cheerleading, cheerleading leader dancing of some kind. This actually makes me think I really need to get myself more out of the house and get my daughter actively involved in something because it actually, it's actually making me think that I do need to get over what I'm going through. They shouldn't have to suffer. That, that's making me sad for my daughter. Sorry. They shouldn't have to suffer because mum's got problems, you know? Because my daughter doesn't have any of that. And that makes me sad. That does actually make me sad. Because oh, I wish that she did have that, you know? Yeah, real tears. Oh, that's so sad. That's really sweet, though. As I, I wish I had one of these at home and that I was able to jump on this trampoline with my children. Just have fun, and I, I just haven't done this kind of thing for years. One day, I need to sort myself out, eh? To be honest, oh, I think this is making me realise a few things. Kia ora, my name is Simone Davis. Welcome to my whare. Both wives have left detailed manuals for each other. I've been a sole parent raising my children on my own for the past eight years. And the last seven years I've remained a stay-at-home mother until my youngest son started school. So I'm happy to say I'm finally back in the workforce, working a full-time job doing admin. Oh, cool, so it's just me and the kids. Wicked. <laughs> Hi there. I'm Sherry. I live in Welsa with my husband, Matt, and two kids. My kids just don't have the desire to feel I have a lot to do with that because I struggle with anxiety and the thought of being out in public places for too long really freaks me out. Um, that's really hard to deal with because you obviously don't want to put that on your kids. We lead a pretty busy life as we also own a cheerleading... <gasps> See, I got that right, cheerleading gym. <gasps> She's a coach, I coach, she coaches. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the coaches. How am I going to coach? Finally, it's the moment of truth as the wives meet their adoptive families. Ah! Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, thanks. Hi, I'm Sherry. I'm Josiah. Hi, Josiah. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hey. hey. What was your name? I'm Hattie. Maybe. Xavier, hi. Hi. Say hi. Are you shy? Hi, Michaela. Do you want a hug? Don't be shy. Hi. She's like, you're not my mummy. 
I'm Simone. Oh no, she's Mummy, you've changed, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi, Luke. How are you? How do you know my name? Oh, look, I know everything. <laughs> I'm Sherry. I'm not. You're I'm Sherry. Sherry. I'm Sherry. <laughs> Hi. It's also a chance for Cherie to meet Sarah, yeah. Simone's best mate and childminder. Do you want to see um our bedrooms? OK, then, come on. Show me you your bedroom. To. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, my gosh, girl. <laughs> How do you even bend like that? So I'm not sure if you've Wait, been instructed okay, yet, but you've got to be coaching with some pointers. It's my bridge walk. Yeah. I'm kidding, you don't have to. Oh, Matt, you're such a... Oh, I was about to divorce you. <laughs> He's awesome. We soon gelled, and, yeah, beautiful family. It's going to be different, um, having someone adult to talk to at night time. Uh, first impression's really nice. On the other side of town, Cherie's getting to know Sarah. So how did you come into the, like, into the lives of the children? So I run a charity, mm -hmm. um, Baby Lost New Zealand, mm -hmm. and we memories for parents whose babies have died. Mm -hmm. As I had mm -hmm. just passed, and we've just built a bond from then. Mm -hmm. So it was, yeah, it's been an emotional journey. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's one where, you know, friendships are built. Yeah. I don't really have any um, experience with, like, child loss or anything like that like I have my two kids and that's all I have yeah. and I'm sure she'll talk to my kids about it too because they haven't really had to they've had a bunny rabbit die yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that's about as like you know things touched them so what's on the menu uh cheesy parmesan chicken strips oh yum it's meal time at the reeds and for once Simone's having dinner cooked for her I don't mind cooking so much well, if you don't mind doing it, eh? Oh, exactly, yeah. Yeah. I heard you don't mind cooking either. Oh, I love cooking. You sure you don't want a hand? No, no, I'm good. Yeah. I actually um, feel quite bad that I'm standing here watching you, to be honest. I don't mind giving you a hand. That's OK. Do you want to go collect the kids? Give it a go. Mackay, dinner time. Please. Do you want to come and give me a hand with um, plating the dinner? Give me a hand, because I don't know where anything is. Please. Yeah. Okay. But Luke and Michaela are having none of it. Uh, I'm not having any luck there, cousin. <laughs> Guys, get out now, please. Aww. Come on, come and help. Grab a towel, please. Where do you sit, Michaela? I'll sit here. Yep. Cool. And where do you sit, Michaela? Or where do you want to sit? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Does your dad always cook like that? Yeah. Oh man, this is nice, mate. Straight up. Mm. <laughs> Not too bad, eh? Yeah, it's good. It was a different feeling for me because I'm used to being in the kitchen all the time. So to sit there and actually have somebody else cook for me, I did feel out of place. Next, Cherie's being given the runaround. I'm not sure if this is a normal morning, but we are running around outside, sitting on the car. And it's an emotional visit to the cheerleading club for Simone. I can't even take my children to anything like this. It's And Cherie's on breakfast duties. Xavier, I've asked you to get dressed already. Come on, quickly. Let's go. What's all this? There you go. Uh oh. Why are you in there for? Come on, go and eat your breakfast. Silly. Meanwhile, at the Reeds house, with the kids already at school, it's Matt's lunch that's on Simone's mind. I've just prepared his lunch. We've got a filled roll in there with ham, a few other nice little things, a fruit and some chips, and we're just going to head down to the um, quarry and take him some lunch because his wife quite often does that because of the, you know, amount of time where they don't really get to spend much time with each other, so that's nice, yeah. Go inside and get dressed. Come on. Your neighbours don't want to see your butt. So are we going to walk to school this morning? Get dressed now. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. Don't go through the wall. Ah, oh, it's the boogeyman. You want to drive? Where are you going? I'm not sure if this is a normal morning activity or not, but we are running around outside, sitting on the car. 
in a couple of days when he knows me a bit better, he might be a little bit more open to listening and I think he's just trying it on right now. Hi, husband. Look what I've got you. I know I'm not your wifey, but uh, here you go. Thank you. And I can't kiss you because <laughs> I'm not the wifey. Enjoy. How's your day? Yeah. Hmm. So how often does she come in and, and bring you lunch? Uh, it could be could be once a week, depending. It's often when I've forgotten lunch. Yeah. Oh, well, I hope you have a nice rest of the day. Thanks. Kind of husband, but not really, you know. Just, you know. Yeah, we're going to work on a name oh, for that, yeah, don't yeah, we? Yeah. <laughs> have a good day. Thanks. Bye. See ya. My name is Simone, for those of you that don't know me. I'm a mother of four. But I have one who has angel wings. He lives in heaven. Sarah was telling me that she started just after she lost baby Isaiah, as I think it was kind of as a way of coping with, you know, and like processing her thoughts and stuff like that. So it's really brave to share it with everyone. I really want to help people. Because Simone keeps up a blog, I'm going to have to do one as well. Um, I've never done anything like vlogging before or anything, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk about. As Cherie attempts her first blog, for Simone, the gloves are on as she steps into the ring. Hey, hey. how are you? I'm Simone. Hey, Simone, I'm Shares. Welcome to Wellsford Boxing. So you um, do this with Cherie? Yes, yeah, Cherie comes. She comes to both boxes of circuit class. She probably comes between two and three times a week. Is the first time you've come to a box fit class? Uh, no, I actually used to go about four years ago, twice a week, but um, yeah, I lost a bit of confidence and yeah. stopped it. We'll get you through. Come and have a session. Slide that in. Nice and comfy? Yeah. Pick that place up a little bit. You've got it. That's the way. Lead with that one. Nice. That's the way. Good work. Nice. That's it. Keep it going. I really don't want to do this, and I feel kind of sick. <laughs> OK. All right. I'm going to go. OK. Cherie's debut blog is all about female empowerment. Hey, guys. I'm Sherry. Hit it hard. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Power. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Come on. Push, 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 push. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Speed. And time. Woo. Shot. Oh nice. My gosh. Come on. Let's walk it. You all right? Yeah. Yep. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Feeling OK? Feeling really well. I felt really good. I feel really good. Yeah? I actually feel like I accomplished something today. Yeah. And this is the step I need in order to get through the next part of my journey. Yeah. Come on, buddy. School's over, and Cherie joins Sarah, Josiah, and Xavier for an evening at the Marae. So, you do come here every week? Yeah? And what, do you, week. what do you do when you come in here? Take out of gear. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Cherie's invited to join the community for dinner. I felt a little bit nervous about being an outsider, but everyone's very open and friendly. I can definitely see why Simone and the kids would come down here and um, just feel like they're part of something, yeah. Meanwhile, Simone is having an altogether different evening. It looks fun. <laughs> I think it's amazing. She's so good. You're pretty good. I'm just picturing my daughter in, in one of those outfits. Simone reacts to what she's seen. I can't even take my children to anything like this. I, I'm suffering with so much sicknesses at the moment. It's, I might as well just dig my own grave, grave to be honest, because, and they shouldn't have to, what kind of life is that, man? All change day. So we're going to do some new rules and I want you guys to try really hard to see if you can do them to help Mum out. I do really love this family but we may need to change a few things around here. So the first one is um, I understand sometimes your mum feels um, uncomfortable in public, but I think getting outside and enjoying nature is very important for everyone's wellbeing. In the weekend, I'd like you to do an activity um, outside as a family, just so you can help mum adjust to her new healthy, happy lifestyle. Hide and seek. Yeah, play hide and seek. Go safe. That kind of stuff. Cool, eh? That would be good, eh? What do you think? Yeah. Cheerleading is great. But there's way too much of it going on in your household. The kids are exhausted. 
Matt, you're always in the car up and down the frickin' motorway. What sort of life is that? So, I'm going to cancel cheerleading for the whole week. <gasps> I love that Mum's able to schedule her day so that you're able to spend a lot of time together. Um, but also juggling two jobs is putting Mum under a lot of... Created a list of chores that you guys can help around the house to relieve some of that pressure. Are you happy to do some chores around the house to help Mum out? No. You don't want to? I'm sure you could. But I moan. OK. Maybe you could do it without moaning. Mum would like that. I still moan. Where I come from, Fano is important. You guys need to spend more time together, just hanging out. It means family time, playing together, craft activities. We are going. No! You too, Matt. No way. Yes way. No way. Mum is about to take a very brave new step in life, and she really needs to have the support of the whole family. I want to help by teaching the kids some more about healthy eating and we can enjoy making this change as a family. I think the food rule is um, awesome, awesome idea. Um, will definitely help. And to get these guys eating a little bit healthier, hey? Apple! Yeah, apples. And yes, it looks like somebody's gonna want some lots of fruit. Mm. I think to get the vegetables in there. Kids, your dad is working all day and he's driving huge distances to pick you up most nights, cooking dinner for you, and when you sit down for dinner, you complain? Leave it on, Sherry. Michaela. This isn't part of the house rules. Michaela. OK, that's Michaela. it. The rules are kids on charge. Oh, no. It's going to take some uh, adapting, I think. Oh, yeah. I think that rule of not complaining about food may last five minutes, but that's five minutes that they didn't complain, so that's fine. In my house, extracurricular activities are extreme. OK, so that's like doing stuff outside of school, OK? They will help you develop your social skills and expend some of that pent-up energy. Josiah, I'd like you to try and re-explore kapahaka. Do it. Look at them. Take those for me. Look at that. Xavier, you and I are going to create a soccer goal so you can get some target practice so that before the season starts. Wow. Yay. Well, we are See ya. Now. Doing this is going to be hardest because I don't like cleaning. Dishes. So what are you going to do? You're going to draw like a goal. So we're starting down here. Yep. Way up. Now go. Keep going a little bit more. Go across the top. Yeah. I think Sherry's going to have quite a hard time enforcing some of those rules, probably because they haven't been so used to doing so much like that. Yeah! yeah! Can I do anything? No, nope. you just sit there and look handsome. The new rule in the Reeds house is that Matt gets waited on for dinner tonight. Here you go, Luke. Oh, awesome, man. You're the best. Good helping. But Michaela has done a vanishing act. Michaela! Not too sure where she's gone. Michaela! Come on. I don't want any more Hey, where are you going? This is the not healthy. And this is the healthy, so do you think the apple should be over here? Meanwhile, the new healthy eating rule that Cherie's imposed starts with sorting out food into healthy and not so healthy. Healthy! Just healthy. Yucky. <laughs> but just because it's yucky, is Not healthy. Weiss is healthy. Okay. Last thing, good job. Milk is not healthy. Oh, good old Matt's on the barbecue. Sorry, I couldn't stay sitting down. Well, this is a family barbecue after all, eh, you know? It's a good point. Family Farno, time. Farno, Farno, you know? Farno That's time. That's the one, bro. Cuz. Cuzzy oi. Why do I have to help? You both have to help. Do you like sausages? Yeah. They're my favourite. Oh, teamwork. Yeah, awesome. I've never done a barbecue before. First time for yeah, she did a really good job. Most of this stuff is very healthy, and you did pretty good. But these here, these noodles, I would probably put them on this side. The cheese is probably not that good for you. And then the last thing is your spices. Oh. Because you know what? These are really good for you, and it makes your food taste yummy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put all this unhealthy stuff in this bag. OK? Here we go. I'm putting it away. All right, so see you later.
I think Simone will be very um, because she's got her goals and you know her new eating plan in mind and stuff so Simone's going to need a lot of support from the kids because they're her close family so the more that they can support then the easier it'll be. Alright Daddy please c come and have a seat. Okay. Salad's good. Oh just one more. One for the road girl. That steak is really good. That's yummy. I think family time is really important because it helps us to be closer. Yeah. And form a stronger bond. I could get used to this family to dinner cook to me and yep. serve to me by the oh, kids. Oh, well, then, eh? So more family time makes us... Starts with an H. Happy. Happy, yes. <laughs> We've got it, girl. <laughs> Family dinner was actually quite nice. It's different to get served by your children. Can I help you? I was a little bit worried about how they would react to the rules. Luke took it probably a little bit better than she did, but we all sat down together, we all ate, and we talked about why family was important. I thought that was nice. Rules in place. Both wives get the thumbs down. Stay with me, just by the horse. No. Luke, come on. We have to go and do some craft stuff now. No, I don't want to. Cherie's efforts to get Josiah and Xavier out of the house starts on familiar ground. Do you want to go and join in? No. Can you show me a cartwheel on here? No. Go on. But both seem reluctant. I think they're a bit shy and they probably maybe feel a little bit different because... Yeah. They're dressed in this and then they're all in their training gear. Xavier gets into the spirit. Put your hands on the ground. Take your head in. Take your head in. Ready? <laughs> do it again. Try and do it on the line. Yeah! Are you going to come and do it, Josiah? Hey? I think Josiah doesn't want to join in because she hasn't done it before. She doesn't want to do the wrong thing or be embarrassed, I think. You can try it on the floor here if you want. No, I'm not doing anything. Oh, OK. She does need to build confidence, but I'm sure that with encouragement, and I mean, I'll be um, trying to do more of this kind of thing, and I think that she will build the confidence by doing it. Why don't you want to join in? Because it, it looks dumb. Whoa! Do you think if you joined in, you'd enjoy it? No. For Simone, she's got more family time planned, and she's getting crafty. Luke, come on. We have to go and do some craft stuff now. No, I don't want to. It is, it's got to be fun, Luke. Look, fun. I've got stuff and everything. You haven't even tried. How do you know it's not fun if you haven't tried? No. Well, you haven't heard what I'm, I'm about to say, why I think it's fun, because it's about getting together as a family and sitting down and doing something exciting together. It's about creating memories. OK. OK, are we ready? Yeah! Yes. Curiosity gets the better of Luke. So we're going to use a couple of feathers. I'm thinking maybe something like that. And that goes there like that. That's that it. spells Barno. That's Mouldy for family. John, do you want to hold one end for me? Because this is going to be tricky. What do you reckon? Do you think Mum will like this? Work your magic. It's for your mum, OK? So make it pretty. Go pink and blue. That looks awesome. So, Fano and family. Perfect! Craft is a bit more fun than I expected. Sherry should be pretty happy with the artwork, I think, when she gets home. And, um, yeah, something we can hang up on the wall and remind us of this whole experience. We have to put this in the sun to dry. We got there in the end. And I was just trying to show them that this is what family is about, just creating those. So when that piece gets hung in this house, Cherie can look at it and, and know that, you know, her family did that for her, you know? Yeah. What's in here, Xavier? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, Cherie's hoping her next out-of-the-house activity goes down better. Do you want to come no. and stand? Josiah, just come stand with me. No. And I'll feed it, and you can just stand next to me, and you can watch his mouth. It doesn't go anywhere near my fingers. No. And Xavier seems more adventurous. Stand with me, just by the horse. No. <laughs> See? Your turn. No. 
I'm feeling bad because I don't like horses. Why don't you like horses? They smell. What are you scared of them for? I don't know. They spit. They spit? Have you seen a horse up this close before? No. No? Is that why you're a bit scared? Yeah? You want to tell your mum that you saw a horse and touched a horse? No. No. OK. Not even one. Quite surprised she's not getting involved with the horses. Savan definitely, definitely wants the best for her kids and she's trying to do everything she can for the kids, for sure. Um, and I think it would upset her to see um, that lack of confidence coming through and, and the fear stopping Josiah doing some things that would be really awesome for her to do. If it was me personally, if I had struggles with anxiety and then I saw it reflected in my kids, I would be really disappointed because um, that's the last thing that you want as a parent. So I think if, I don't know if someone's aware of it, but I've noticed that is kind of showing up, especially in Josiah. Hold it out. Yay, you got one. Simone's just home after meeting her specialist about her impending gastric band surgery. How did your appointment go? It went really good. So I went in there for, with high expectations, thinking that I'll probably need to lose at least 30 kilos. And I only need to lose 13 kilos before I can get the surgery, so I'm pretty wrapped with that. Hey, awesome. Oh! <laughs> so can you explain a little more about the appointment? So what happens is I go in and they assess me, so I had to jump on the scales today. That was um, quite confronting because, yeah. So I jumped on the scales, they took my weight and they assessed it and uh, came back with a meal plan and I have eight weeks to achieve the 13 kilo weight loss, which I can pretty much do. It's not that hard, it's very achievable, yeah. actually. Some more of the boxing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cherie's last activity is a steep walk up a maunga. Trees! Everywhere! Wait! I can see my house! I think the surgery is going to give her a lot of confidence. Yeah. Um, and then to, to bring that into activities with the kids, I think, yeah, yeah I think it'll be really good. I think it'll be a really good thing for Simone and the kids. I can see my every house. And I could see ocean, and I could see clouds, and I see, and everyone. Across town, Michaela's curious about Simone's most treasured belongings. When he was five days old, he went to heaven because he was sick. Aww. So a beautiful lady came into the hospital, and she cast his hands and feet. Do you want to see his feet as well? Yeah. They're pretty cute. You can hold it if you want. Those are my baby's hands and feet. Here's his other hand. So you know the reason why I carry these around with me, Michaela? Wow. Is because it's been a very big part of my journey for the last three years. So that's why I believe that family is really, really important. And you must make sure you create beautiful memories with your family. <laughs> it's true. Until now, Michaela's only experience of death was a family pet. Just like when Napoleon passed out. Yeah. Napoleon isn't part of our family, it's just one of our pets. Mm. Did that make you feel sad? Important, eh? Hey? Where did you put him when he died? Like, where did you bury him? I put him in a very special little box, and that box flew to heaven. It flew to heaven? Yep. Yeah. And he grew angel wings. So now, sometimes I get I feel a bit sad, but every time I feel sad, I know that he's in a better place. Yeah. yeah. Can I have a hug? Mm. Oh, you're so cute. It's the final day in the wife swap houses, and Simone and Cherie. I'm actually feeling over the moon. I cannot wait to kiss and hug my children, and I also cannot wait to let them know that there's going to be some really good positive changes going to happen for us. I'm excited to be going home today and seeing my family and, um, yeah, just getting back to normal life. Bye, Michaela. I'm going to miss you. Can I have a hug? You give good hugs. Stop. 
<laughs> Is it too heavy? I didn't bring that much stuff. Bye, Luke. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I am very keen to meet Sherry. I'm looking forward to what she has to say, and I hope that it's positive. I'm sure that Simone's definitely got some things to say about my family or home life, so it will just be interesting to see what she's what she has to say. Hi. Hello. Do you miss me? Mm-hmm. No, you didn't. So I did miss me? Yeah, a little bit. Aww. Nice to meet you, finally. <laughs> you too. I hope my kids were well behaved. Hey, Cuz. Hey, bro. How's it going? <laughs> oh. Well, walking into your home, I immediately felt the beautiful, positive vibes in your house. Well, the first day when we got there, I think he was really, really going a little bit, you yeah. know, what? So I had him running around the garden and <laughs> we got him a soccer ball. Did you? <laughs> yeah, we made like a goal yeah. on the fence just with chalk, so hopefully it'll wash off. But there's got to be something that he can do, like a team, join a team or... Yeah, I don't know, I just do something. I think the biggest thing is when they're younger that they don't always know what they want to do. Yeah. And so sometimes you have to just put your foot down and say, well, you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> so the cheerleading, mm. I actually found that um, quite full on. Yeah. And the kids uh, seem to be quite exhausted with that. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously it's a very big passion. Mm. Um, but yeah, it just seemed like a lot. Like I just think that family is really important, and that maybe you guys need to spend a bit more family time yeah. together, like together, together. You know. This was to cancel cheerleading for the week. Oh yes, we cancelled cheerleading. Mm. Uh, so neither of us were quite sure what you'd think about that one. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, later. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get it now. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit harder for me because it's not just like a sport that they do, it's because it's like my gym as well. So I yeah. can't just be like, oh yeah, all right. You'll be there anyway, yeah. so they'll need to be there. I'm going to be the there gym. anyway, yeah. so yeah. We also did um, crafts, <laughs> but a craft stuff oh, yeah. got him involved yesterday. Yeah. Mikhail yeah, that was. The craft. Wasn't too sure. He wasn't too sure whether to join in. He was he, like, no, no, he, he got did. into it though. Didn't he, he did in the yeah. end. That was a special moment, you know, with the kids and, and Matt and stuff, so they really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think we all did. Yeah. Actually, and there's a gift for Sherry to have oh, a look yes, at when, Sherry. when we get home. Wait till you get home. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK. So we took them up to um, a farm where there's horses, but Josiah was really scared. She was really, she? really reluctant. She did oh. not want to go anywhere near them. Yeah. Xavier was really keen. He had the carrots and he was feeding them. Um, but yeah, by the end of it, she was eventually very, very apprehensive to start with. Yeah. Yeah, and kind of not keen to try something new. Yeah. So I wondered if maybe it was because she was a little bit like, oh, I don't know if mum would like this, so I don't yeah, like it. Josiah yeah, yeah. needs you to be like a role model and teach her how to be confident, because I think a lot of the time she's yeah. kind of maybe mirroring, mirroring your worries um, yeah. and kind of just, yeah. Um, sadly to say, a lot of, I think a lot of the reason why um, my kids well, I don't know, to me, just don't seem to have fun is because me. Like, I actually blame myself for a lot of the reason why my kids, I don't know, to me, just don't seem happy. Because I just I just lock myself in my house. I just don't want to even go out. So that's what I mean. Like, this week, a lot of things was, yeah, just way out of my comfort zone. And But I really appreciate it, though, because it's 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 made me realise that there's actually nothing wrong with me. And all that negative self-talk is... Um, you know, yeah, not only affected me, but it's affected my kids too. So I just, I just got to stop doing that. Can understand or realise that I um, have a lot of anxiety issues. Yeah. So that stops me from doing a lot of the stuff that I used to be able to do, mm -hmm. um, which is why I've pretty much shut down. Thank you for letting me. So I thank you for letting me into your home and allow me to experience the. It opened my eyes to a lot. And, um. 
It's hard being... It's hard being me sometimes. Cos I always... feel like it's not... I'm not... It's not enough. That I don't give my kids enough. It's great to have you this week. Thank you for having me, eh? Also, to have someone else around. Um... I actually love your dogs too. <laughs> just thought I'd add that in there. <laughs> my my biggest things that I've learned for the week is just to appreciate the family a lot more. See if we can impl- implement some of those new rules that you set up. What I want to take away from this is that I'm going to love myself even harder. I need to make the rest of my life with my children going forward um, more fun. You know, it, it has really opened my eyes to what I need to do going forward, and I, I, this experience was amazing. You. My friend, a frickin' amazing. You got a good husband there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm really looking forward actually to letting them know that um, there's gonna be some really good changes for us all and that we're just gonna be happier and have more fun together because that's what they want. Mommy. Mommy. Oh. Hi, my son. Hi. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hi. Did you miss me? Yeah. Good mummy. Oh, I got my Whoa! Oh. How cool is that? Oh. <gasps> soccer ball. Do you want to play soccer? Yeah. Boy. Woohoo. Go, son. It's good to have someone else see where we can improve things that we're doing. A um, bit more family time, definitely. It should be quite good. And I don't know about weekly arts and crafts days, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm looking yeah. forward to spending some more time together. Wow! You might have to do kapahaka. Eh? <laughs> I have learnt a lot about not only myself but about my children. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I am really looking forward to the future.